Let's just say it could be worse. Let's check with Paul. Hey, at least we get half of that equation. The warm part is coming back. Maybe not hot, but we do warm the temperatures up. Unfortunately, this wet weather we're dealing with across the area this week is going to continue on and off into the weekend. And over the last 24 hours, close to an inch of rainfall in many spots. I just checked here at the station. Storm total rainfall. 0.96 under an inch here at the station and the rain is still coming down tonight. Uh, fortunately, the showers are lighter right now, but uh, some moderate rain trying to slip its way across the uh, Pennsylvania border tonight over into Mercer County, also out of southeastern uh, parts of Mahoning County and eastern Columbiana County, uh, but getting a little break now uh, along with Skeeto Lake and Cortland out to Warren and Newton Falls still dealing with some moderate showers a little heavier here east of Sharon between Sharon and Mercer tonight on 62. I have lightning tracker turned on, not seeing any lightning here and not expecting a whole lot of that tonight. Uh, just some showers around. They continue across Mahoning County and the heaviest rain in Columbiana County over to the east around East Palestine uh, this evening. Now, uh, the steady rainfall we're getting right now will move east as the night goes on and becoming more isolated uh, through the rest of the night into tomorrow morning. That's the way tomorrow's going to shape up. Future tracker showing you the steady rain moves out of here uh, into tomorrow morning. Temperatures sliding through the mid 50s and really kind of holding there for a big part of the night. Uh, tomorrow, you'll notice these little green dots popping up now and again through the morning. That's an isolated shower or a sprinkle uh, possible. The best chance of that would be in the morning. Uh, by midday into the afternoon, that risk decreases pretty rapidly here. And don't be surprised to see a little sun breaking its way out later tomorrow afternoon. In fact, tomorrow evening is going to be pretty nice for us. Uh, temperatures building in the mid to upper 60s season uh, trying to dry us out, but it doesn't last long. As we go into Saturday morning, here comes a push of warm air for the weekend, and ahead of that push of warm air will be some showers and thunderstorms that move in for our Saturday. I'm not expecting them to stick around all day, and the timing of these a little bit tough, but it looks like it'll be into the morning, into the midday, and then as we go on into the afternoon, once that warm front pushes on through here, it's going to help us out, dry out a little as we go through the day. So not a washout Saturday, but the risk of showers and storms are there. Uh, the risk increases once again on into Sunday. So unfortunately, that unsettled weather stays with us through the Memorial Day weekend. 55 right now at the airport. Uh, temperature holding steady there. Won't drop too much tonight. Uh, showers around becoming isolated. Watch for some patchy fog tomorrow morning. 65, your high temperature tomorrow. Uh, again, an isolated shower, especially early. Lots of clouds around, but those clouds will try to break up as we go into the afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast back into the 70s on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, good chance of some showers and thunderstorms around Sunday, too. And we're going to keep an eye on these storms on through the weekend. I know there's a lot of outdoor plans across the area. Monday's high 75 for Memorial Day, uh, a much lower chance of a shower or storm on Monday, uh, just a 30% chance of that, especially in the afternoon. And then I'm going to leave a small chance of a shower in Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday but cooling off highs in the upper 60s as we wrap up the month of May.